What's up guys, welcome to another video. My name's Graham and welcome to Growing with Graham, which is something I've named the last video or two because despite the fact that I have lost the plot, I'm actually growing stuff now. So I've decided to call it Growing with Graham because we are finally growing stuff together. I want to tell you a bit of a nightmare tale, if you pardon the pun. I need to tell you about it and I'm really interested to get your views about it as well. Originally, where I've now got the seating area, I had two mini cages and I had kale in one and I had some broccoli plants in the other. This area here was where I had one cage that I built and then, call them cages, it sounds a bit wrong, it sounds like I'm sort of detaining some sort of apes or monkeys or something and this is a zoo this is where the kale was just in this section here and then over here where we have this sort of messy lump of soil um, where i'm growing a marrow and some pumpkins um, was where the other frame was I just kept looking over and thinking it's just not working over there is it this stuff here i believe the term for this weed is mare's tail look at it look at this evil on the guys in the allotment some guy that i've got to know over the way he's been really helpful up today i said ah oh, michael ain't doing so well over here so when he comes has a look he sees this i kid you not i've never seen a guy go so pale i thought there was something wrong with him it's graham that is mare's tail that is not a good thing to have in your allotment at all and this entire frame, it was sprouting in between the plants everywhere. And apparently they had an issue with this a few years ago on the allotment where the mare's tail was coming through. It was kind of coming through from the, the back end of the allotment um, all the way down this way. And they have treated it before in the past. But, and that was a couple of years ago, I believe, but it's actually come back again. One of the guys in the allotment had got some chemical that could that could get rid of this mare's tails. He came along while I was away for a few days and sprayed it all down. Um, but literally, it was starting to come through everywhere, all over this one side of the allotment. So the only thing that I really know about it, I did a little bit of research on it, not too much, is that you shouldn't really pull it up because it makes it worse. The roots of it go down quite a lot, like sort of eight, ten foot, might be making that up. But do you know what? I was really disheartened when he told me about it. And I thought, oh no, this is the end of the world. I've been sold a dud allotment here. Um, but I don't know, it hasn't, ever since it's been treated, to be honest, those are the first two bits that I've seen come through. He did say that it'd take a while before it would actually work anyway, but the areas where it was, have now completely disappeared, although I did chuck a load of wood chipping on top of it. I don't know whether the mare's tail actually affects the plants or not. Um, I did read that it takes the nutrients out of the soil, but you read loads of stuff, don't you, online about, about things like this, and you, and you don't really know what to believe because everything contradicts everything, so it all gets a bit confusing. Guys, look, how, look at that bendy bit of rhubarb there. I'm sure that's ready to pick. Has the mare's tail beaten me? Well, no, I don't think it has. Um, I think we've beaten the mare's tail and we've moved on. But we definitely have to make... Do you know, the more I look around, the more I can see it, actually. I'll just sit here in my therapy chair. A couple of people over there. You know, you could people watch, can't you, in the allotment? A little bit, not too much, otherwise it gets a bit stalky, but... If you've enjoyed today's video of Growing With Graham, and if you do like my videos, do hit the like button, do leave a comment, and I'd be really grateful if you hit the subscribe button and the notification button if you want to stay in touch with what's going on. If you do want to leave a comment below on the Mare's Tale, Mare's Tale, Nightmare's Tale, whatever you want to call it, I'd really appreciate that, so... Hope you've enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you in the next one.